Imela, Sanbolan, Uyeme, Uyemur, Avishe, Avishe, Limachero, Comrades, it is indeed an absolute pleasure to be here in the province of Sol Plaiki, Hosi Khalishiwe, and Mayor Francis Bart, Mayor Nita Sipere Pere, and many other leaders, giants of our struggle. Precis Driv Yege Khaliede, Onsvas and the Provinci, Van Kwasuru Natal, Om the mer and om the fear, the hundred and seven year for Denken from the African National Congress. Of that the day, next was from that, us men had aid come and had numbers and groupies om hele ondersteunen en liefde vir hele bewegen die, en die traditionele politieke heis kom wees en demonstreer. Jelle is ook hier vandag om te kom wees dat die ANC as jelle heis that the ANC is your home and that many of you have no other home than the African National Congress. As we celebrate 107 years of the ANC, we also use the occasion to remember what the first president of the African National Congress said, Reverend John Lagalibale Ledube, he said, oh, how I long for that day when the darkness and the gloom will have passed and the sunshine of a new civilization shall rise upon a land that is teeming with commerce, where upon every hilltop shall be seen the schoolhouse and the church, then indeed will Africa be a nation amongst nations. That is what Reverend John Langalibale Ledube said. And as we celebrate this very important day when the African National Congress was formed. And here in the Northern Cape, we are pleased to know that the Northern Cape is the home of the African National Congress. <laughs> Provinci ena ya rona ya Northern Cape ke le khae la African National Congress ke le khae to da la African National Congress African National Congress e roba la honafa e tsuga honafa e tsama ya honafa e sebetsa honafa Kimo idulante, hakeli shebile ka ufela lona, ke abona kan nete hore, kan nete lebana ba African National Congress. Rai lebo kantwe. In fact, our manifesto is about calling on all South Africans to join hands and work together to make sure that we grow South Africa.
Now here in the Northern Cape, the areas that we want to focus on are mining, renewable energy, agriculture, and the Northern Cape has another important resource which we want to exploit to good effect, and that is technology. The technological advancement that is rising in the Northern Cape is one of the best in the world. Now, we want to do this because addressing unemployment is going to be one of our key priority areas for the, Western, uh, for the Northern Cape here. As we focus more on skills development, and we want the young people of the various surrounding communities here must take advantage of the educational offerings and opportunities that the Sol Plaiki University that is here in the province which was established by the democratic government to go and get skills because we want no child, no child in South Africa to be left behind. Now, today, I can see that we have a number of young people, and I want to encourage all those young people who are here to go and register because the IEC is still going to be reaching out to young people in various centers, educational centers and so forth. And those who missed the opportunity this past weekend, we call upon them to visit the IEC offices to register to vote because it is important that all of us should go and register. We want you to go and register so that you can vote correctly in the coming elections. Today we are putting out our manifesto here in the Northern Cape. We are spreading our manifesto all over the country and we are saying this is the manifesto that is going to take South Africa forward because the African National Congress remains the most effective vehicle to unite the broadest section of society, all our structures and members, as well as public representatives, must work diligently to ensure that the ANC, based on this manifesto, receives a huge and a clear mandate to intensify the work to build a better life for all South Africans. We will continue with the overarching mandate that we were given at Nazareth. We were given an important mandate to unite and to renew our organization. But having done so, to also go beyond, to unite the people of South Africa. We are the only organization that has a history of uniting the people of South Africa, that has the capability of uniting South Africans. We will continue in our efforts of building a caring society that is non-racial, that is non-sexist, democratic, and pro prosperous. As cadres of the movement, we are rededicating ourselves to ensuring that both the structures of the ANC and those of our, the work that we do in government will continue to reflect the ethos of the African National Congress. We will continue to reflect the integrity of the ANC 
and we will also continue to reflect the diverse non-racial nature of our society. We will soon be celebrating 25 years of democracy. The ANC is the first to acknowledge that although much has been achieved, we could have moved much faster, we could have done much more, we could also have improved the quality of the outcomes that our people have always expected of their movement. We accept that mistakes have been made in the past in some critical areas. In some areas we have stalled, in some areas we have moved too slowly, and in some areas we have made mistakes. We have taken a moment to reflect on where we have made missteps and mistakes. We have internalized our own reflections on where we have had weaknesses. But now we are saying, this moment that we are upon now is a moment of renewal, is a moment where, having looked back from where we have come, where we've made some mistakes, we say that gives us an opportunity of having looked back, but also to look forward. Because the furthest we've looked back, we are then able to look much further forward. It is an opportunity that we've taken to restore our democratic institutions and to return our country on a path of transformation, growth and development. Because in the past few years, this African National Congress has moved South Africa forward in quite a meaningful way. We have touched the lives of South Africans in more ways than any other party has done. We have made sure that there is demonstrable progress that people can see. And as we travel around the world, people always say, we admire you South Africans for the progress that you have made coming out of the nightmare of apartheid. And indeed, we have made progress, and we should be proud of the progress that we have made, but at the same time, we should be emboldened to want to do more and much better. And despite the progress we have made, the, the work that remains ahead is quite huge. It is huge because the people of our country deserve better. They deserve a better life. And our manifesto is about giving our people a better life. Those amongst us who are found to have been involved in wrongdoing must come forward themselves and be accountable for what they may have done. That is important for us as we rid our country of corruption because it is important for us as the African National Congress to grasp this moment and ensure that we restore the credibility of our movement. We have taken a number of steps ourselves to make sure that indeed we will emerge as a movement of integrity as we move forward. This we are promising we will be able to do. What we now need to do is to advance the standing of the African National Congress because it is only when we do so that we will be able to get our people 
to come and support the African National Congress, but also more importantly, to become part of this movement of growing South Africa. And we are saying, let us reach out to all our people as branch members, as branch leaders, and today I'm also pleased that we are talking to many of our volunteers. We want our volunteers who are here to take out one message, one message to the whole country. And that message must be singular, it must be clear, and it must be about how the ANC wants to work to grow South Africa and make South Africa a successful country. The time has arrived for the ANC, the Northern Cape, to demonstrate indeed that the people of the Northern Cape as a whole love the African National Congress. Amanda! Amanda! Now is the time. Vote ANC. Now is the time. Niyama Sabana. Niyama Sabana. Let's go and get them and let's go and vote ANC and show them that the Northern Cape belongs to the African honest.